Hi friends, today let us learn competitive learning rule. This is the fourth learning rule in neural network learning rules. So let us see, I have already explained this NN stands for neural network, LR for learning rule and it is competitive learning rule. Let us see what exactly the competitive learning rule is. The basic definition is the output neurons of a neural network compete among themselves to become active or fired. That means the output layer is having so many neurons, maybe more than one neuron. Still, how many neurons it is having, but still it needs to fire only one neuron has to fire and other neuron has to keep quiet. And how so this learning rule is called competitive learning rule. So obviously only one neuron is active at a, any time which won the competition and it is used to classify a set of input patterns so if you are giving some input pattern and out of all the neurons in the output layer only one neuron will fire and the input pattern will go to one set of classification and if suppose some other input is given given and the maybe some other neuron will fire then the other second set of input pattern will go to maybe the second classification. In this way, we can classify the input patterns. For that purpose, it is very much useful. And let us see the architecture. Yeah, this is the architecture. Here, there are so many in source nodes. Let, let us say x1, x2, x3 and x4. And here, only three neurons are shown in the output layer and in output layer there are three neurons but still only one neuron has to fire at any time so what exactly how the competition and how the winning of the competition will be there and once the neuron will wins once the neuron wins how the updation of weights will occur those two things has to be discussed here only two points one is how the neuron will win the competition what is the criteria and how after winning the neuron how the weights will be updated that's it only two things so here uh, if you keenly observe the architecture here the there are black colored connections and the black colored connections are in between the two new two neurons and left side connections are from first neuron to second neuron it's going from first neuron to second neuron and second neuron to third neuron and the right side connections are from third neuron to first second neuron and second neuron to first neuron and similarly there is a connection between first neuron and third neuron at the right rightmost side so what exactly is happening that means after getting the after getting the total input or local field for the neuron it will give the it will provide the local field to the input of other two neurons that means it's it's giving the feedback to the other two neurons and similarly it is getting the feedbacks from the other two neurons so that's what exactly happening and after this after completion of this the competition is going on and the competition is performed based on the value and that will be clearly discussed in the next stage so as per architecture is concerned there may be so many source nodes and there may be so many output neurons out of all these output neurons are interconnected that means there is a connection between all the neurons so one connection is from neuron 1 to neuron 2 and the second connection has to be from neuron 2 to neuron 1 and let us see how the competition will happen and how the weights will update so the what are the basic elements of these things in the mean competitive learning so what are the the basic things required a set of neurons that are all the same except for the some randomly distributed synaptic weights and which therefore respond differently to a given set of input patterns 
that means all the output neurons are the same output neurons structurally they are same and in, in all respect they are very much same but the problem is the synaptic weights are randomly taken so based on those randomly taken synapses and, and the inputs the output will vary and a limit imposed on the strength of each neuron for each and every neuron there is certain limit and that will be imposed on the each neuron a mechanism that permits neurons to compete such that only one neuron is active at a time and it is called winner takes all neurons so that winner takes all neurons will be the winner neuron and that will only fire and all other neurons will keep point and based on this we need to write a mathematical expression yeah this is the winning criteria let us see what is the winning criteria here for a neuron k let let me take kth neuron is winner neuron for for the win, winning neuron k to win the competition what has what is its quality so its induced local field for a specific yeah its induced local field vk for a specified input pattern must be the largest among all the neurons in network that's the thing that means the if a neuron k is the winner neuron that means its output complete output or induced local field or net input we can call it as net input and that should be more compared to all other neurons then we can say that neuron k is the winner and that will be clearly shown here if that is the case suppose if k is the winner what what he has to do so the neuron has to fire if it is the winner if it is not the winner it has to keep going that we have to clearly assign firing means the value is 1 keeping point means the value is 0 so yk is equal to 1 if vk is greater than vj for all j where j is not equal to k. for example i have so many i have so many neurons maybe there are the one item is taken as j so j is running from maybe from 0 to n out of these 0 to n neuron kth neuron is the winner so i have mentioned j as the reference maybe j is the running from 0 to n out of all these j's the kth value the kth output value or the kth induced local field value is the more if that is the case then the kth neuron is called as the winner neuron so that has to fire so the yk is equal to 1 firing means 1 its value is 1 otherwise it will be 0 that means it can't fire and it will it has to keep going. if vk is less than vj vj means there may be so many vjs so the other neuron will fire the other neuron will be the winner and the other neuron will fire which which neuron is the winner and that neuron has to be fired that's it so as per kth neuron is concerned the kth neuron is if the kth neuron is the winner neuron that means the value induced local field value has to be more compared to all other neurons and here here what is yeah what is vk vk represents the combined action of all the excitatory and inhibitory inputs to k what does it mean so all excitatory inputs let me see let us see once again the basic architecture here the excitatory input for example let me take the first the first neuron as the kth neuron so what are the excitatory inputs that means the input from x1 x2 x3 x4 and also from second neuron to first neuron there is one excitatory input so the input which is coming to towards the neuron and similarly from third neuron also it is coming one input and but one thing is going from the neuron to second neuron and similarly one thing is going from the first neuron to third neuron those two things are feedback neurons 
I mean feedback connections or we can say them as inhibitory waves and all connections coming towards the neuron is called excitatory waves and these two things which are going out from the neuron are called inhibitory inhibitory connections or inhibitory signals so those things are prominently pronounced here for calculating the vk vk is not simply adding all inputs not simply adding all inputs but it has to add all incoming inputs and it has to delete i mean it has to sub subtract all outgoing inputs so that's the case by using that thing keep that thing in mind only we need to calculate vk and if we calculate all vjs like that and out of vjs out of all vjs one thing is vk if that vk is more than all vjs then that neuron k is called the winner neuron once winner neuron is confirmed means okay vk is confirmed and yk is it has to fire so vk the kth neuron will fire okay once it has been fired what exactly the operation to change the weight that we have to see here we we need to see the weight updation how i need to update my weight so according to standard competitive learning rule the change in weight is defined as w delta w k j is equal to eta into x j minus w k j if k wins zero obviously if k loses that's it where eta is a learning rate parameter xj is the jth node input and wkj is the synaptic weight from jth node to kth node that's the thing that means here how to change the weight the change in weight is equal to the learning rate parameter into the difference of the difference of synaptic weight from its input is the change in weight then that change in weight has to be updated normally by adding the change in weight with the previous weight simply that that thing everyone knows okay so this is what exactly happened in the competitive learning rule thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like it if you wish to share this video please share with your friends if you haven't subscribed till date so please subscribe to my youtube channel and try to press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i update the video thank you thank you so much